What can you tell us about the trade uh, situation uh, as, as the deadline approaches? You're getting a lot of interest? Uh, I think, you know, it's. Um, I certainly try to say as much as I can. I'll never talk about players specifically, but I think there's a lot of dialogue. I think, and it's a good thing in the sense that a lot of clubs, just in talking to them, um, everybody's very engaged. And I was just remarking to another GM the other day that, you know, it seems to me, you know, this is my first year going through it, but in, in this role more so, you know, there's really more of an appetite to, to, to discuss trades July and at the winter meetings. Not, not that people won't engage in dialogue in April or spring training or even at the GM meetings, but there definitely seems to be much, you know, and for obvious reasons, there's a trade deadline, but uh, a greater sense of openness and dialogue and back and forth. And um, But again, I know there's a lot of people say you can have 20 conversations and have it doesn't necessarily lead to anything. So just with the trade with Atlanta, we talked about it for a month. And there was many times it looked like we weren't going to make a trade. So, you know, I've had dialogue throughout the year, and I'm going to continue to have dialogue. So, you know, really, I have no sense between now and the deadline. I guess if something does happen, we're going to feel pretty good about it, improving the club. You you don't have any sense that something one is way or the likely other. To happen? No, I mean it's just too you know right now, and I think everyone would tell you the same thing. You just ha we're just having dialogue right now. Things can change at any any time, but you know we're having dialogue now, like we did in June and like we did in May. So just continue to explore things with clubs and talk about ideas and, you know, maybe there's ways that we can get involved with three ways and four ways and things like that. So um, there's still a lot of work to be done with our club and we're always going to continue to try to find ways to improve it. Is the primary interest in bullpen people? Uh, I wouldn't get specific because it's not, not fair to the players. I know they all read it and I think I said it to, I think it was MLBTradeRumors.com, you know, our players... As much as we think that they're immune from all this stuff, they have families, they have friends, people that call them every day and read things on the internet. And unfortunately, some stuff is somewhat true, some of it's completely false. And you know, it's hard for them sometimes to just continue to worry about performing and doing their jobs on the field. So I wouldn't want to add any fuel to the fire about rumors, speculation, or anything like, like that at all.